was in South Africa. In fact, I was finished with the movie when the subject of the end credit songs came up. My work was related to working the movie. Just before I came home, the subject of Mbube came up. I had done a Lion Sleeps Tonight version 25 years ago in my album called Rhythm of the Pride Lens. But the whole approach with uh, Pharrell producing Booby was because even though we still have Lion Sleeps Tonight with Timon and Pumba in the movie, I wanted to do a special version that is dedicated to original composer Solomon Linda. And fortunately, Pharrell went and did a cool track, you know, a really, really cool track. And that was sent to me. And I was not aware that the conversation around the end credit song was really fast high pace so i did my version and sang the lead and put my choir in, in the track sent it away just when i was about to go to relax there was an elton john song and credit song i knew there was a discussion around it elton had written it it is done that gets sent to me while i'm trying to pack and go to kruger national park go back to studio i play around with it do the top end finish it send it to la then fly to la finish the elton john song uh, called uh, Never Too Late. Then I get a call from Hans, we have this Beyonce song, it's done, but it needs to be aligned to the movie. And so send me the tracks, so I shut down. Mm -hmm. Got the tracks, got my engineers here in South Africa, got my singers, wrote the entire front end of the song. And the funniest thing about the song, it was called Track 14 for a long time. <laughs> when Disney released the, the, the track listing, there was Track 14, and I had a suspicion Track 14 is the Beyonce song. So I was like part of the world wanting to the fuck is track 14 you know everybody is track 14 so it was a fun thing for me i was part of the world not knowing what this track 14 is but a hint of suspicion was that is uh, uh the uh, spirit so i worked spirit for specifically for the movie finished that and the director john favreau who was brilliant uh just said yeah there's a song that lewem did with beyonce and i was like i thought we we're not supposed to talk about that <laughs> yeah and that's before the the, the, the album track listing was announced and i like everybody else i wake up oh this, the song is out oh really yeah i woke up yesterday the video is out oh okay no one is telling me anything <laughs> You know, and in London, huge premiere, red carpet that is yellow and the whole nine yards. The royal family, uh, which was like a highlight for me, meeting everybody's favorite couple. And then a photo shoot that I had forgotten about. This, the thing was so structured, you know, who's going to stand where, who's going to stand where, who's going to stand where. So I happened to come down and Hans goes, oh, there's Lebo. And uh, Elton, Elton drags me and Beyonce drags me. I just happened to... Be the only person that's standing where it's not structured, <laughs> which is like the coolest thing because now with my kids and everybody, I'm like, oh, you are standing next to Beyonce. Yeah, <laughs> from a work point of view, it's just part of the work, you know. But this one was kind of like different, which is fun, you know. <laughs> Move it. 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 Move it.